quantum soul? Is the Atman a form of consciousness? What if your consciousness is not just inside your brain, but woven into the fabric of the universe? The Bhagavad Gita speaks of the Atman, an eternal, indestructible soul that transcends life and death. But here's the twist. Modern quantum physics is now uncovering ideas that sound eerily similar. Could it be that the wisdom of Krishna and the discoveries of modern science are pointing to the same ultimate truth? Let's explore the deepest mysteries of consciousness, reality, and the universe. For thousands of years, the Bhagavad Gita has taught that consciousness is not a product of the brain, but a fundamental aspect of existence. Krishna declares in chapter 2, verse 13, Just as the soul experiences childhood, youth, and old age in this body, so too it will acquire another body. The wise are not deluded by these changes. But now, some leading physicists and neuroscientists are asking a radical question. Is consciousness fundamental to reality itself? Could this mean that the Atman isn't just spiritual philosophy, but scientific truth? In chapter 2, verse 23, Krishna says, The soul is neither pierced by weapons, nor burned by fire, nor moistened by water, nor withered by the wind. This describes an indestructible, non-material consciousness, which strangely resembles the idea of quantum consciousness. Neuroscientist Dr. Stuart Hameroff and physicist Sir Roger Penrose propose that consciousness emerges from quantum processes inside microtubules in brain cells. But here's the real question. If consciousness is a quantum phenomenon, does it continue to exist beyond death? Could Krishna's words about the eternal Atman be an early explanation of quantum immortality? The Bhagavad Gita's concept of reincarnation isn't just about the soul transferring from one body to another. In chapter 8, verse 6, Krishna explains, Whatever one remembers at the time of death, that state they will attain in the next life. This mirrors the concept of quantum superposition, where multiple realities exist simultaneously until one is observed. Modern physics suggests that time is not linear, but exists all at once, much like the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. So could it be that reincarnation is actually a form of quantum transition, where consciousness simply shifts into different states of existence? One of the most mystifying discoveries in quantum physics is the observer effect. In the famous double-slit experiment, scientists found that particles behave like waves until they are observed, then they collapse into a fixed reality. This suggests that consciousness itself plays a role in shaping reality. Krishna tells Arjuna in chapter 4, verse 35, once you perceive this truth, you will never again fall into illusion, for by this knowledge you will see all beings as part of the Supreme. Could this mean that the universe is an illusion, Maya, shaped by our consciousness, just as quantum mechanics suggests? So what does all of this mean? The Bhagavad Gita and modern physics seem to align on a profound truth that consciousness is not a byproduct of the brain, but an eternal force. In chapter 2, verse 16, Krishna says, That which is real never ceases to be. That which is unreal never truly existed. Could it be that Krishna's teachings were an ancient roadmap to the deepest secrets of the cosmos? One thing is certain. The mystery of consciousness is far from solved. Now I want to hear from you. Do you believe consciousness exists beyond the brain? Is the Atman a quantum reality or just spiritual philosophy? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you love exploring science, philosophy, and the mysteries of the universe, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a new episode.